Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code. This is called Reorder Routes to Make All Paths Lead to the City Zero. It's a medium, we're gonna jump right into it. There are n cities numbered from zero to n minus one and n minus one roads such that there is only one way to travel between two different cities. This network forms a tree. Last year, the Ministry of Transport decided to orient the roads in one direction because they are too narrow. Roads are represented by connections where connections of I equals AI, BI, and it represents a road from city A to city B. So it's going to be the starting point to the ending point. This year, there will be a big event in the capital city zero, and many people want to travel to the city. Your task consists of reorienting some roads such that each city can visit the city zero. Return the minimum number of edges changed. It's guaranteed that each city can reach zero after the reorder. So example one, we have the following map. We have city zero, one, two, three, four, and five. This is our connections list. So we can go from city zero to city one, from one into three, two into three, four into zero, and four into five. We want all of these pointing into city zero, right? Right now we have an edge going from zero to one and then one to three, but we want to reverse these. So three and one are able to reach zero and indirectly two will also be able to reach zero. So these are two edges. And over here between four and five, we want to flip that as well. So then five can go into four to go into zero. So that's a total of three changes. Example two, this is our city. We want to make two changes. We reverse the ones between one and two and three and four for a total of two. Example three, this is zero changes. Our city is going to look like the following. One leads into zero and two also leads into zero. Everything is leading into zero, so we're good, nothing to change, and our output is zero. Okay, so how do we want to solve this? This is actually pretty straightforward, right? As long as we clearly understand exactly what the ask is, we'll be able to code up our solution. So we know everything needs to lead into city zero. So all of zero's neighbors, right? Anytime there's an edge between zero and another city, doesn't matter which way it's going. A neighbor is just anything that's connected. So one and four, they need to have arrows going in, right? All the neighbors need to go into city zero. If they're not, we need to reverse an edge. So four goes into zero, that's good, but one doesn't. So that means we need to reverse this edge over here. So that's one reversal so far. Now, this means all the other cities need to go into four or one indirectly or directly, it doesn't matter because they're the only ways to get into city zero for all these other cities that aren't directly neighboring it. So now for one and four's neighbors, not including zero as a neighbor right now, right? We already took care of that. So the new neighbors, if we're going out in layers, it's going to be three and city five. We want to make sure again that the arrows are going in. So once they go in, they can then flow into city zero after that. So three is not going in, which means we need to reverse it. And five isn't going in, so we need to make another reversal here. Then we do the same thing from that layer of neighbors. So from three and five, we want to see what their neighbors are, not including the ones we just came from or have already seen. So the only new one is going to be city two, and we want to make sure it flows in, right? We're going out from our city zero, so we want to make sure all those arrows are pointing in, all those roads go in. And we don't need to change anything here, it already goes in, so our total output is three. And that's exactly how we want to solve it, right? We want to keep track of all the neighbors we have for all the cities. Then we're going to start off at city zero, check its neighbors and see if there exists a connection from that neighboring city into city zero. Now, since we do want to check for a connection instead of looping through our input, what we can actually do is just add these connections to a set. That way there would be a constant time lookup to see if that neighboring city and zero form a pair, right? So the starting point would be that city and the end point, the destination would be zero. So to code up this first part, we want a default dictionary of a list that's going to keep track of the cities and their corresponding neighbors. So the very first thing we're gonna do is initialize our neighbors dictionary default dict of a list. We also wanna keep track of our connections in a set. So let's say connection is a set. Now we just wanna loop through connection. So for start end in connections, we're just updating our neighbors dictionary. So neighbors of start, it's going to be a list, right? At this key, we're just going to append to that the city of end and we're gonna do the same thing for end. So the actual direction of the arrow doesn't matter right now. We're just checking all the neighbors and neighbors of end dot append start we also wanted to keep track of the actual direction of the arrow the actual connection in our set so while we loop through this we can also just add to our set connection dot add, we'll add a tuple of start and end 
Okay, say we are dealing with example one over here. So our input is n being six, and these are our connections. At this point, what do we have in neighbors and connections? This is what our dictionary for neighbors looks like, and this is what our set for connections looks like. It just has the same exact tuples that we had in connections, just in set form, so it's constant lookup. And then for neighbors, we see that zero goes into one, so zero has a neighbor of one, and one also has a neighbor of zero. One goes into three, so one has a neighbor of three, and three has a neighbor of one. Two and three are neighbors, four and zero are neighbors, and four and five are going to be neighbors as well. Now that we have our neighboring dictionary, all we need to do is a BFS, right? We're going to start off at node zero and go out in layers. So if we're starting off at node zero, our current BFS list is just going to hold city zero. We want to keep track of the number of arrows or rows we need to reverse. So let's initialize that to be zero as well. And with any graph problem, it's also really important to keep track of nodes or cities in this case that we've already seen. So we do want a visited set to keep track of that, right? As we go out, we don't want to check the neighbors we've already just come from. So visited is going to be a set. And since we're starting off at city zero, let's add zero to our visited set. Now that this is done, we just run our BFS. So while current, while it's not none, there's still nodes that need processing. What we want to do is loop through. So we're going to loop through all the cities in our current. So for city in current, we want to loop through all the neighbors. So for n in neighbors of that city. So right now we're starting off at city zero and we're looping through all the neighbors of zero. So we start off at one. We want to make sure we haven't already checked city one. So we want to make sure if it's not in visited. So if n not in visited, the first thing we want to do is add it to our visited. So visited dot add n since we are processing it now. And all we need to check if there exists a tuple in connection. So an arrow that goes from n into city zero. If not, we know we need to reverse an arrow. So if n city not in connection reverse plus equals one and we see that right n city so one zero it doesn't exist in our set so we know we need to reverse an arrow right we saw that here we need to reverse an arrow so reverse is going to go to one now that we're done with the city we want to continue branching out from this city so we also want to keep track of a new current list that we can replace our old current with so let's actually initialize that up here. New current is going to be empty. And once we're done with this, we're just going to add it to the new current. So new current dot append n. And once we're done with that, we're just going to replace our current to be new current. So current equals new current. So we know we want to add city one to visited. We're not going to visit it again. We go back in our for loop to our next city. So we're now at city four, this node over here. And we want to see if it's in visited. It's not. We haven't been there yet. We're going to add it in. So now we are checking city four and we want to see if n cities in connection. So is the tuple four zero in connection? Is there a row that goes from four into zero? That does exist. So we don't go in this if we don't need to reverse any arrows and we can just add four to our new current. Now there are no more cities for us to iterate through in this for loop. We're done, right? We got all the neighbors. So we're just going to replace current with new current, which means now we want to branch out from one four, right? We want to make sure all the other arrows have a way to go into one four. So then one four can go into zero. And once we're done with this entire while loop, all we have to do is return our reverse count. So let's go ahead and submit this. And there's actually a little typo here. Let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, talking about space and time complexities, for both, it's going to be O of n if we have n cities in our input. We do keep track of n keys in our neighbor's dictionary. And we are going through all n nodes. So both space and time are going to be O of n. Now, we did do one iteration of our code with example one, let's actually finish it out just so we fully understand exactly what our code is going to do line by line. So last we left off, we just replaced our current to be this new current we have. We're at node one four. So just going back in this while loop, right? We initialize new current to be empty again. We're looping through the cities in current. So we start off at city one and we loop through all the neighbors in city one. So we start off at zero and actually this should have been already added to visited. So let me go ahead and add that in. Zero is added and visited. So we don't go in this if we just go back in the for loop. We're now at city three, three is not in visited. So we can go in this if condition, we're going to go ahead and add it in. And we want to see if n city is a connection. Can we go from n into city? n is three, city is one. Can we go from three into one? Three, one is not a connection. So we know we need to reverse an arrow, right? Three, one is not a connection. One, three is, so we need to reverse that. So reverse is now at two and we're going to append n to new current. And we go back in our for loop, but there are no more neighbors for us to iterate through. So we're done. We go back in our bigger for loop, go to the next city. 
So now we are at city four. We're going to go through the neighbors of four. It's going to start off with zero. It's already in visited, so we're not going in here. We're going back in the for loop. N is now going to be five. That's the next neighbor of city four. Five is not in visited, so we can go in here. We're just going to add it in. And we want to see if that connection five, four exists in our set. It doesn't, so we know we need to reverse one more arrow. We add five to our new current. And we go back in this for loop, except there are no more cities for us to iterate through. So now we're setting our current to be new current. So we want to go out from city three and five now. Check all the arrows that could lead into them. The first thing we do is reset new current to be empty. We're looping through city and current. We start off at city three. Now we're looping through all the neighbors in city three. We start off at one. One is in visited, right? It's in here. We already went to one. We already took care of that. We don't go in this if. We go back in our loop. We now check city two. Two isn't in visited, so we go ahead, add it in. And we want to see if two, three exists in our connection set. It does. No need to reverse another arrow, right? This is good. We want to be going in. And all we're doing is appending to to new current. Going to our next city. We're now at city five. We loop through all the neighbors in five. That just city four, right? That's the only neighbor we had. It's already in visited. We took care of that connection. So we don't do anything. And there are no more neighbors for us to go over or cities for us to go over. All we do is set current to be new current. Going in this loop one last time, new current is empty for city and current. We are at city two, four, n in neighbors of city two. So we are at three. Three is in visited. We already took care of three, right? This was already taken care of. We don't do anything. We set current to new current. So it's going to be empty. And now we break out of our while loop because current is empty. So we just return reverse, which correctly points to three. So we just went ahead and solved reorder routes to make all paths lead to city zero. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.